Hi, this is Mike Bloom, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a new Blackboard site for a class that you're teaching. Um, the process changes from time to time, and this is the process as of January 2014. Um, well, you can create a Blackboard site in a number of ways. You can go to blackboard.wm.edu, and um, there is usually a link at the bottom here um, where we have Blackboard unavailable. Um, there's a link to the Blackboard course generator, but right now, since Blackboard is unavailable, they've changed the message and you can't get to it from there. Um, however, you can usually get to it by going directly to the website, and the website is bbhelper.wm.edu. So from bbhelper.wm.edu, you'll get a redirect to this other website where you'll enter your credentials. And I'll put in a faculty member's name here and log in. And that'll take you back to BB Helper and it'll show you all the classes that you are able to create a course site for. Now, if you want to create a course site that bundles more than one um, class, let's say that you're teaching a cross listed class um, or you're teaching two sections of the same class you can check the boxes next to those classes that you want to create. Do not check all of the boxes for all the classes you're teaching all at once because it'll just make one giant Blackboard course site um, and you don't want that. So once you've clicked the boxes that you want, all you need to do is click on Create Blackboard Course. And now it's going to give you the opportunity to change the course name or to change the template course that that course is based on. So if you taught the course last year and you'd like to base it on um, that course, you can do that. So here I'm looking at um, a faculty member's course, a faculty member who's teaching Russian 202 for the spring, and the course name is Interim Rus Through Video 2. I could change that to just call it um, Intermediate Russian uh, Spring 2014. And if I wanted to change the template course, I could do that. Right now it's selected as none, but let's say I want to base it on the spring 2013 class. I could just select that and choose that. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. So all I need to do is hit confirm. And now you'll notice that you see Course Request Pending, and it'll give you the name of the course and what the course ID is going to be once that course is created. And the course is usually created about an hour after it's requested. It depends on when in the day you requested um, the, the course site. And once that course site is available, you can go to blackboard.wm.edu and you should see it on the right-hand side there. That's how you create a course site for a course that you are currently teaching um, that has a banner ID number. And that's all there is to it.